Hello and welcome. I am Ghulam Abbas from TechRoz.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install and how to take a backup of Windows Server in Windows Server 2016. So let's get started. In order to backup the server, first we need whether we need a USB whether we need an external hard disk or whether we need an, a drive so for now I will go ahead and I will cre create a new drive and I will put and I will restore uh, I will put the backup on the drive I am currently on the VMware workstation pro so I will press ctrl alt and then I will go ahead and I will select the VM and I will select settings Then I will select hard disk and then I will add in a hard disk. I will select yes. And I will add hard disk. They should be recommended and yes, yes, no problem. And then create a new virtual disk and then next. And its size has to be, I think, 60 GB is fine. And I will uh, restore it in a single file. And I will also click next. And the, the, its name is this one. And I will also click finish. And when I'm done, I will click OK. But yet that has not appeared here. In order to appear that one or in order to create a drive, we need to initialize that one. So press Windows R on the keyboard and then type there diskmgmt.msc. And then press Enter to open up the disk management. After it opens, after it opens right click on it and then select online. Again, right click on it and then select initialize disk and then select a partition. I will select MBR and then click OK. When I am done, I will right click on it and I will select new vol simple volume and then I will ne click next, next. And I will also give a name of drive E and then click next. And I will also change its name to the backup. When I am done, I will click next and I am finished. So now this drive has been created and i am going to save the backup in this drive let me i have to make full screen the vmware virtual machine and i'll also close this screen the next step what you need is go ahead and open up the server manager i will make it full screen and then select add roles and the features go ahead on the before you begin page click next again select the installation type i'll select the role based or the feature based installation i'll click next and also there is not any other server pool so it will be the local server and then i'll also click next again you don't need to select anything in this uh the server roles just go ahead and click next and now on the feature step just scroll down and you will be there with the windows server backup yes here it is windows server backup and select it and then click next and restore the destination if it requires just go ahead and click yes and select install wait uh, at least for some minutes until it should install so i'll be back with you guys now the installation has been completed i will click close and i will open the Windows Server Backup from the tools in the Server Manager and here is Windows Server Backup. So here uh, the Windows Server Backup it opens but you can't see anything much here. So you can see here that here is the Windows Server Backup which is the local computer and here is also the local backup. Yet there isn't any backup which I had created. No, there isn't any backup here. Also, here will be the status of the backups. Will they be available or no? Uh, how many backups you have, and what will be the timing of that backup, which will uh, going to back up the system? So currently there is no backup, and on the right pane you can have a look at here is the action and this is the part by which we are going to create backups first of all backup is divided into two parts of the backup schedule and backup ones now backup schedule is a backup mostly the organizations they are uh, whenever after the their, their works has been finished they are scheduling that for example at 8 p.m 
at 8 a.m. of the night, uh, think that work has been done, and suddenly the server is going to getting backup of the all the files which today they have worked. Backup schedule mostly they are using there there. So select backup schedule and then click next. And here you can have a look here that here are two two types of the server backup backup configuration. Number one is full server and the second one is custom server a full server for now have a look here your size is 10.75 gb and a custom server if i should select it if i have to click next and it's saying me that go ahead and add some items here here you can have a look here on the desktop i had a, a folder of the um, new folder called new folder that should be on the desktop and here is wallpapers yes if I have to select it and then if I have to OK this one, just go ahead because its size is less. That's why I am going to backing up this uh, folder. If I have to click next and right now it's saying me that currently it's time 9.18 a.m. Sorry, p.m. If I have to select, go ahead once a day. Every day you have to, for example, at this time you have to back up. Currently, I have selected those for that folder, but you can have uh, you can select the full server or the full files or the full uh, other roles and features and many other things will be there. So when you select that one, just go ahead and then click next, and you will be on the specify the destination type. It's asking you where you want to save this one. A dedicated for the backups hard disk, for example, that should be an external hard disk, that should be a USB or any other things, or you have to backup into volume. Uh, which I am going to do or you can also back up this on a shared network folder It means on the online world between your clients and yourself so for now, I'm going to Back up this into the volume which I had created and I will click next and you can have a look at it saying that go ahead and add the volume Here's also the drive E if you desire just go ahead and select ok and then click next and it's saying that all the things they are ready if you are ready just go ahead click on the finish and it's going to in uh, take backup of that folder but no for now i'll go ahead and i'll click uh, cancel because i have to tell you the backup once so click cancel and uh, i have to click on the click backup once and have a look here Schedule backup only opens when if you have created a backup schedule for the first time. If you have not created, it will be remain as disabled. So for now, it will be the different options and then click next. And again, it's saying that uh, you have a full, conf uh, full server backup and also a custom server backup and then click next. And again, you have to select items and go ahead and find out the item which you are after. and that's wallpaper and okay and also you can click next and here saying that where you want to save this one uh, on a disk or on a remote share folder see this time it's only having two parts but schedule had three parts so i will select the local drives and then click next and that is local e i know by default it's going to select that one and then um, the free space in the backup that's that one and then i will also click next and have a look here it's done now if i have to click backup it's going to take backup of that uh, files and the folders And now you can have a look here that the status of the backup has been reached and completed. I can close this thing. Now, if something happens to those folder here, that's the wallpaper folder. If something happened to it, suddenly there's no worries because I can bring them back once again and once for all. So, let's go ahead and delete this one. Shift delete to remove that from the hard disk. You can have a look here, that is not in the recycle bin too. So click close and let's go ahead and open the recover and select. I'll back up this from this server, Bus, which is, and then click next. And there's the date and then click next and files and folder. Yes, I am going to search for the files. So go ahead and then click next and then 
select items to recover let's go ahead and we have to wait for some seconds on the Olama bus on the local C on the users you can have a look here on the administrator only the desktop wallpapers has been what it has been backupped so I will select them it's same items to recover I'm saying just go ahead and recover them so click next and uh, it's saying that it specified the recovery option where you want to uh, recover them I will set the original location from where you have uh, whatever it was if it, if that was on the desktop just go ahead and restore that on the desktop if that is not then don't do that uh, there so I'll go ahead and I'll click next and you can have a look here all of these files has been restored so if I uh, sorry all of these files are ready for backup i'll say go ahead and recover them and currently it's going to initialize them after initialize uh, something else will happen and it's done already done so you can have a look here complete it complete it and then close and you can go ahead and ta -da, it's available here on the wallpaper so this was about how to install and how to check backup and how to recover those files but sometimes will happen that uh, you have a full server backup that time a full server backup is uh, for example that size is little bit 10 gb 20 gb or more that time something will happen with the backup system and if you click on the recover that time recover will give you also some error and you won't be able to restore the complete system and there is another way that you can back up the system and sorry you can restore the system that time but for that you need to take up a full backup of the server so uh, be ready for the next tutorial which I am, go I am going to show you how to recover or how to restore for the first time uh, now I am going to restore this full server backup right now here so I will go ahead and I will again once again I will start the full server backup but next time i will perform it how to restore the full server from the start up to the end so be ready for that one if you had any question just go ahead type down your question you can also uh if you have any question uh, you, can, you can also visit the whole article of this uh, tutorial into my website which is techros.com so don't forget to comment to subscribe and also to hit like in our videos if you had also any suggestions just go ahead and type down your suggestions i'll be there to answering them so till next time have a nice time and goodbye